Here's Colin the Chameleon. Chameleons are a special type of lizard. And did you know that the tongue of a chameleon can be longer than its entire body? Now then, Colin, what can we do for you? A chameleon has special skin, which means they can change colour to blend in with their background. This is called camouflage. Let's test it out, shall we, Colin? <whistles> hey guys, meet Robbo. Hello everyone. Robbo is my friendly robot helper here in the treatment room. That's right. I've got all of the tools that we need to help the animals feel better again. I can even use my tickling stick. <laughs> Robbo, please can you swap the colours of the backgrounds for Colin and we'll see if he can change to the right colour. Red. This is red. But oh dear look, Colin has changed to blue. Yellow. This is yellow. But Colin has changed to red. Green. This is green. But Colin has changed to orange. There's definitely a problem here. Robbo, I think Colin needs to relearn which colours are which. Test you again, Colin. Red. Well done, Colin. We can hardly see you. You're red. Yellow. Excellent work, Colin. You're now yellow. Green. Perfect. You got all three right, Colin. You're now a lovely shade of green. It looks like you're all cured. Lily is a breed of dog called a beagle. Did you know that a beagle could use its powerful sense of smell to follow another animal's tracks, even if they're buried under deep snow? Welcome, welcome, Lily. What seems to be the problem? You look very itchy, Lily. Shall we take a closer look at your fur and see what's making you so itchy? Let's use this magnifying glass. A magnifying glass helps us to see tiny things very clearly and in more detail. Aha! Just as I expected. You have jumpy, itchy little fleas having a party in your fur. Robbo, can you fetch the flea vacuum, please? Let's suck those little fleas right up. Let's count the fleas. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. We got them all. Those pesky fleas are so troublesome. Look, they're carrying on with their party. Lily, you are now Flea free. Lucy the goldfish. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. 
Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, stop, stop Lucy before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong, but I need your help Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind, Lucy. Sh, a, l, spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out, Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right Lucy. Ish spells fish. Well done. I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? Sarah the cat. Cats are members of the feline family, which means Sarah here is actually very closely related to lions and tigers. But Sarah's a lot friendlier. Hello Sarah. Shall we take a look at you? I promise I'll be gentle. Hmm, let's have a look. Sarah, your tummy looks very big. Have you been eating too much? Oh. Hmm, let's have a listen to your heartbeat. Well, listen to that. You have four heartbeats and a large tummy. Does anyone know why Sarah might be feeling unwell? She's pregnant and she's about to give birth. Let's count how many kittens Sarah gives birth to. One, two, three, three. Beautiful kittens. Well done, Sarah. You're a mummy. Ants like to be with other ants and live in groups called colonies. Most ants are worker ants and they use teamwork to build the nest, protect their queen, and find food for the rest of the colony. Hello, Alice. What's wrong? Why aren't you with the rest of the colony? Oh, I see, Alice. You've got a bad back from carrying too much. It looks like you've been trying to do too much by yourself. When you try to carry too much and you do it on your own You're making life more tricky, whereas you could make it known That you need a little help and your friends can clearly see A helping hand is welcome, work together that's the key Share the load, it's going to help each one
each other to be strong and to be brave when you're worrying about the work you've not yet done togetherness works wonders and you can work as one on your own you get frustrated and you can't get to the end don't carry all the world if your back is going to bend share the load it's going to help each one of you strong and to be brave share the load it's going to help each one of you on the road to moving on share the load you need a little give and take we can help each other to be strong and to be brave share the load so there you go, Alice. Do you think you'll let your family and friends help you a bit more now? Here, wear this back support, which will help when you are carrying things. Well done. You're all working together as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Here comes Boris the Pufferfish. Puffer fish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water which makes their body bigger and balloon-like. Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris, can you show us how you puff up, please? Hmm. I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster please. One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cuts and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish. What a day it's been at the Pet Rescue Centre today. I hope you've had as much fun as we did. See you next time from me, Dr Poppy. And from me, Robbo. Bye. Bye. Here comes Jimmy the Rabbit. Oh dear. It looks like Jimmy may be allergic to something. I wonder what it could be. What have you been eating, Jimmy? Hmm, I have an idea. Look at that. I think Jimmy is allergic to carrots. Can you tell us what an allergy is, please, Robbo? An allergy is when your body's immune system makes a bit of a mistake and thinks something harmless is dangerous to your body. In Jimmy's case, his body is reacting badly to carrots. Not to worry, there are lots of other delicious vegetables that you can eat instead. We have broccoli, cabbages and squash. They are all super healthy and taste fantastic. Look, the squash is even the same colour as carrots, but it won't make you sneeze. Yummy, yummy. Here comes Henrietta Hen. 
did you know that hens are omnivores? Which means that as well as eating seeds and vegetables, they also eat insects and small animals like mice. What seems to be the problem? Look! Henrietta's laid four eggs, but they're all different shapes and sizes and not at all the right shape for an egg. I think Henrietta has forgotten what shape egg she needs to lay. Robbo, shall we try and remind her? Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta, what's the right shape? My friend Henrietta, you lay lovely eggs But what is the right shape? Can anybody guess? Is it a square? No, that's not right Is it a circle? Close, but I'm not ready to bite Is it a triangle? Is it a rectangle? No, it's an oval Henrietta has laid a perfectly shaped egg. So now we know that oval is the right shape for an egg. What a fabulous day in the treatment room. To watch more videos, just tap here. Or to subscribe to Toddler Fun Learning, you can tap here. See you next time. Bye. Bye.